Well, I've never had a fragile sticker on a box of diamond paintings before, so that's new. What else is new is that this company I've not ordered from before. It's Home Craftology, so I am really looking forward to showing you a kit from there. Yes, I say a kit because I'm going to be unboxing one of these for us today. I am in the bedroom. We're having my usual space decorated, so you may think it looks a little bit different today. So welcome to Stone Magpie for this unboxing. Let's cut this apart, being very careful. I like that it's got a fragile sticker on because it just gives the postman a bit of a clue that they can't ram the parcel through the letterbox or anything like that. And we'll have a closer look at the box. Now, I do want to apologise for any, any camera wobble at this point, because if you could see the setup <laughs> I've got here in the bedroom. Yeah, it's not ideal, but I wanted to get this unboxed and show you. So here we've got the box from Home Craftology, as I mentioned. Home Craftology Premium 5D Diamond Painting Kit. Let's see what else. Features, recommended ages 10 to 99. Mm, I think it could even be lower than that depending on the kit. The kit includes tools, wax, adhesive canvas and all rhinestones required. There of course rhinestones are the diamonds themselves. So instructions. So it's got the instructions on. It's got some nice pictures on the box. It is a bit squished, this box, but not too bad. Hopefully the insides are not going to be affected. Just squish it back into position. Now I have to say that their website was a joy. I found out all about Chris and Mel. They set up Home Craftology. You can see their story on the website. The website was exciting to see diamond paintings that I've not seen before so one of which is this one their pictures are really clear they show you different views of what's included they do different sizes so you can choose the size they also show which size is recommended you can choose round diamonds or square diamonds it is a very comprehensive website and I had so much fun looking through it all and choosing. I'm trying not to show you the picture of the kit, but it does have a sticker on to say. And honestly, when I chose this one, I didn't go with the recommended size. I have gone a bit smaller to show you. So inside the box, we have a lovely cover, like a pouch for the diamond painting. Very nice. It is branded. Drawstring. Oh, it's tied in a bow. I love that. I'm just going to move these because I think it's creating shadows. So we've got our diamond painting tied with a beautiful blue big bow. Isn't that lovely? Finishing touches, really nice gift idea if the kits come like this. Really good. Okay, so oh, it always feels special when you undo a bow. So, oh, we get some release papers. So I have six release papers. Now the canvas back, I don't know if you can see here, it isn't like a velvet. Um, it's rougher than that, but we do have the perforated edges with the scalloping. Um, you can probably hear that. However, 
there are absolutely no creases whatsoever on the canvas itself. So here is the picture that I chose, perfect for this time of year, approaching Halloween. In the middle, we've got the haunted house. We've got the moon in the background, the spindly trees either side, and then the three witches <laughs> flying across the sky. And what a sky it is with all of that colour. In the foreground, we've got the rushes, and here, We've got the cat looking out towards us. I love the colours for this Halloween picture. Really drew me into it. And I think it'll be fun to diamond paint with the colours as well. Let's have a look at the picture and the legend. Here is the image of the picture itself. And then looking at all of the different numbers down the side, we've got 128 in the correct order. And then we go into capital letters and then the symbols themselves. And we do have 40 colours within this kit. Looking at the canvas, they are square diamonds, as you'll be able to see from the canvas. And we have got black lettering in the paler backgrounds and then white lettering in the darker so that looks very clear to me. And looking at the canvas itself, it looks like a mix of confetti and colour blocking. So for example, the haunted house is going to have touches of confetti in it. But if you look at these Z symbols, they are blocked together, as is the moon in the background. And in the bottom of the picture, we have got lots of the Z code to block. So a mix of them both. So it does say 40 by 50 on the details. As we know, sometimes diamond paintings are sent a bit smaller than what are advertised. So let's have a quick measure and see if this does actually measure 40 by 50. 40. By 50. So yes, it does. This one is smaller than what was recommended on their website. I wanted a quick project for me to do on an evening, sat in front of the telly, etc. So I didn't want a really big one for Halloween. Having the details on the website really helps to make those decisions, to know what sort of detail you want in the picture. As we know with diamond painting, size does matter. For detail, go as big as you can possibly go. Right, let's have a look at the toolkit included with this kit. We've got a self-seal bag full of the tools. And inside we can see that we've got a basic diamond pen, which is translucent colour with glitter no multi-placer, so only single place. I think with this kit you would need a multi-placer for all of that colour blocking. So very basic with a squidgy to put on the end of the pen for comfort. You push it all the way in so that you can hold your pen comfortably. A tub of pink wax with one slab of wax in there and some tweezers. They are the needle nose tweezers. They are metal. They come with the guard because they are quite sharp. They're not branded but they, are, they do feel good quality. So for me I would think yeah it's fine. Oh with the funnel tray which is my favourite for easy pouring the diamonds back into the storage when you finished with that colour. Um, for me, 
The only thing missing is the multiplacer. I think really that should have been included. They do class themselves as premium diamond painting kits. So, right, let's have a look at the diamonds. You can already see that they do come with a sheet of instructions, which is nice, and self-sealed bags, which is nice too. Looking at the sheet first, we get a picture of the image that is the diamond painting. Welcome to the home craftology family. That's a nice message there saying thank you and welcoming you to the community. You get some instructions. This is the most important part and I like these sheets for this. So going to the most important part of this sheet is this information here. We get the number order, 1 to 40, so we know there's 40 colours included. We get a colour indication of the symbols. We get the DMC number, which is important if you're storing your diamonds afterwards, you'll need to know what the number is. Or if unfortunately you run out of the colour, you would need to know what colour you would need more of. You get the quantity, which is always nice to know. And in this one, you also get to know what weight in the bags. So really good detail on this sheet. As I say, this kit is a square diamond kit. And look at the colours. They do look superb quality from first view. They really do look good. I'm going to pour some into the tray for us to have a closer look at. Look, a little stuffed bag of these. This is number 336. Okay, I've got a tray, got some diamonds. Let's see. So straight away, there isn't any dustiness. There isn't any static. The diamonds sit well together. They are nice and sparkly. The light in here isn't the best light, but they are very shiny. In squares, it is important that they sit flush to each other. And as you can see, they really do sit well. great thing about these self-sealed bags is that if you don't want to have the storage you can actually diamond paint from the bags. They are all numbered so we've got number nine, the DMC number is 336 and it's got the weight of the amount of diamonds there on that label. So all of the information is there if you don't want to kit up. Let's have a look at some more of the other colours because if you saw these colours, you wouldn't think it was a Halloween picture, would you? Really pretty colours in this kit. That is the whole kit. And I will unbox the other kit in my usual space because it has got better light. But I was excited to open one of them and have a look and show you what beautiful Halloween pictures can look like really pleased with this one the canvas has no creasing whatsoever it is a poured glue as you can see it is very glossy and very sticky if you've never purchased from home craftology before and you're interested in having a look then i invite you to click on the link in the description box below and if you do make a purchase, this does give me a little bit of money back, which I always appreciate because it enables me to buy more diamond paintings to show you. So thank you. So are you working on your own Halloween projects? You know I'm always interested to hear what you're working on. So do let me know, do comment, do like and please do subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the unboxing. I will do the other unboxing once I've got my usual space back because it is better light 
really to show you the kits but I wanted to open this one and get started on a Halloween kit ready for the 31st of October. I'll see you next time and in the meantime enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care everyone, bye!